I am studying at the Liturgical Institute to know the depth and the beauty of the Catholic liturgy so that I can pass that along. I'm studying at the Liturgical Institute to gain more knowledge and have the wording and the experience to share uh, the truth and the beauty of Catholic liturgy. I'm studying at the Liturgical Institute to learn more about the liturgy so that I can serve my diocese in a way that brings forth the beauty and the light that God has given the church through the sacraments. Unlike many other programs, we don't just let you take a final exam, get an A, and go home. We have an expectation that people sing the Liturgy of the Hours, morning prayer and evening prayer every day. So it's always been a combination of the lived experience of prayer and then knowledge that would help us to pray better. Much of what I do in the role as a director for sacred worship is really liturgical catechesis, uh, training people to either celebrate the liturgy well or to participate and pray in the liturgy better as a, as a layperson. Almost like any art appreciation class, you wanna know why the Mona Lisa is what it is. And you have to be taught that. And there's a certain type of teaching that goes into well, my children or the people in the diocese or in the parishes to be able to see Christ in the signs and symbols of the right. The Liturgical Institute was founded in the year 2000. 20 years ago, we were still kind of figuring out how this institute was going to be built. Well, we asked Cardinal George, the founder, and he said he wanted a place where people could learn to worship God the way God wanted to be worshiped, which is kind of an amazing claim. And so from the beginning, we were never about the politicization of liturgy or choosing personal preference. It was always about what's the mind of the church, what's the heart of the church. The Liturgical Institute's online program is different from other institutions because of the way it's offered asynchronously and synchronously. So if I'm not able to watch live, I can go back and watch later. And that's very practical, of course, for being a working mom. And the, the platform itself allows us to collaborate, which has been very good. And it's been a nice way to interact with the other students. Really, the common thread through all of it is one big conversation about the liturgy. What we're talking about in class becomes what we talk about at table and connections we make with our lives outside of the Liturgical Institute. It's kind of like one big problem solving um, where liturgy is the solution for all of the things that we talk about. The fraternal atmosphere in the summer program is a lively one, I think, for sure. It's been my experience this summer that having come to this program with about 10 other people, all of us who didn't know each other before but have quickly become good friends, we have our lounge and we have our Sunday dinners where we enjoy each other's company. We're able to laugh, we're able to have fun, talk about things other than the liturgy too. It's a fun atmosphere. Yeah, it's really uh, an oasis here, uh, the, the campus. There's this very natural beauty. There's a great artistic beauty. One of the beautiful maxims of the Catholic faith is that grace presupposes nature. And so if you can start with a real naturally beautiful environment, that uh, serves as a great uh, substratum to learn about supernatural truths and supernatural beauties. Classroom learning is one thing, but living that classroom knowledge in your prayer life, both liturgically and in your private prayer, constantly in ennobled by your surroundings makes this campus and this program very special and very unique. I know that with our amazing faculty and our hundreds of graduates all over the world that we have the resources to continue this process at, at such a high level. And I hope that years from now we're going to have multiple parishes, uh, as many as possible, that have a priest at, at the head of the liturgy who was trained by somebody who was trained at the Liturgical Institute and the people in the pews who may listen to our podcast, uh, the Liturgy Guys podcast, or they may take an online certificate course and they know what they're supposed to be doing so that we can have these two elements meeting in the middle. And so I'm very hopeful that the Liturgical Institute continues to be a household name for training and a resource for those who are leaders in the church. But I think it's also important that we're giving resources to the everyday Catholic in the pew who needs to know more about their role in the Mass as well.